it in my home but they are real nice it, it comes with its own holder it's really nice I mean I don't usually pick up plates and chargers but this one is really beautiful I mean these are really nicely done ones and it's a marble stone I love marble alabaster marble onyx I mean I love those all right Um, just a small souvenir piece from Paris that I picked up on my travel. It says Paris. I don't know if this is resin. It's just a wall decor. I mean, I usually, I mean, I have these souvenir pieces. I mean, you usually tend to, as a tourist, you buy such a lot and then, you know, there's no use in your home that it doesn't match any of my, I do have some magnets and postcards. I mean, I keep those, but I mean, these, I mean, they usually don't match anymore so all right it's up for sale all right all right i think i'm done but this is a prized piece this is the one that i bid in my lot and this is so beautiful this is like a brass with art nouveau design look at that stagecoach it, it's not missing anything it is the coach driver and your horse the, even the uh, harness I mean you can see, it's beautifully made I mean I don't know what this was used for it was just a display item but this is really beautiful and I've seen these go for a very high amount like value these are highly valuable pieces so I'm I was lucky to find this in the lot uh, and this was like two weeks ago and I bid on this one i <laughs> i overpaid but i don't mind it and it came with all the other pieces too but um uh, this was a prized one so i'm i'm really happy to get this um i have offered it for sale if it doesn't sell i don't mind it displaying on my mantle it's so beautiful it's such a beautiful like an art piece i love the brass sculptures It has a beautiful patina too. I mean, it's it's not that you know, not that heavy, but it's really beautiful. All right, let's put that back here. Um, this one again. It's I mean, it, usually I find these. These are like carved cords. This is folk art, like made in Peru. It has a sticker still on it. I'm surprised it didn't fall off. Um, but this one is for an auction. So I mean. These probably came in more. I mean, people collected these on their travels. So, but this is nice folk art piece, you know, like a gourd. You can use it as a, uh, like looking at it, you can use it as a, hang it as a bird, um, you know, birdhouse. It's really pretty. And folk art pieces are so unique and so valuable. I mean, you have to, you have to, you know, promote this art. So this survives. All the modern technology you know all right uh, salt and pepper shakers they I mean I usually don't pick them up by choice but these came as a lot too now this is Fitz and Floyd luckily I mean these are two cans so you have like a, you know beautiful like Fitz and Floyd is so easily chipped so but this this is this is really nice condition I don't see any paint chips or you know any flea bites or any cracks or anything so this is the one that's a little smaller than the other uh, let's see if you need measurements on them the bigger one is five inches and this would be three inches i believe no four inches so five and four and this is like a pair of salt and pepper shakers all right i found like a, i don't know this is copper i mean i love collecting copper as well i love copper the color of copper this is uh, actually a souvenir from Oklahoma. That's like a sister city to sister state to Texas. So I usually go there, and I think I found this at a casino, uh, like a souvenir. So I'm not sure, but if somebody wants it, it's fine. Otherwise, I keep it. I mean, it's, it's nice with a soaring eagle on the top and the bell. It rings really well. All right, a little extras. These are like seahorse. Uh, salt and pepper shakers with like the teal blue color very ocean color with seahorse i mean these are like really small maybe they are like i don't know if these would be like individual ones like two 2.8 inches and these are really but they're cute you can use them as figurines if not a full salt and pepper shakers 
and then the small considering now these items such as these the miniatures would be part of my um, the mystery boxes so please go into the description and read about it uh, these mystery boxes they are available to purchase and uh, you get them at the, if they have to be weighing less than five pounds with 10 or more items and uh, um, they are very eclectic and all the proceeds the best part is the proceeds from the mystery boxes they will all go to domestic violence shelter that i uh, you know i have volunteered for and and they usually you know um, they usually need the full support um, and it's unfortunately domestic violence is still an issue in our society so i hope to make a difference with uh, with this all right, these are also miniatures like that was in the lot. These are like, I, I love these, like these are cloisonne um, on ceramic. Um, so these are like fishes with koi fishes and this is with owls. So you can use them at, I mean, these are not just Easter. I mean, these could be used year round. These are nicely done, beautiful egg shaped ones. I also have a marble one. I think I have a few more. Um, I have to unpack. They might be in one of these boxes. Um, but these all came together. Uh, I also want, I think there was like an Easter collection. I think there's a theme here. Uh, these are like bunny napkin rings. I believe these are like more modern. But these were in the lot. So they were still boxed. I think they never used it. These are like bunny napkin rings. A set of four. Right. Somebody who likes that. Now this one, I'm not sure if this is Diamond Point uh, with uh, Ellie Smith or, you know, with LG Ride. I don't know which maker made that, but it's beautiful bowl. Amber with the Diamond Point, uh, you know, cuts here and the feet. It's a nice bowl. It's, it's scallops on the rim. Uh, let's see, it's almost five inches. All right. That's great. Another souvenir from Paris. It got like a, I, mean, I think I bro broke the spoon with it, but this is like a Demitas shot glass or Demitas cup. It says Paris on it, Cafe de Paris. All right, but it says made in China, so there you go. All the souvenirs are made in China. This is another souvenir, like this is from London. You can see the London landmarks. Uh, that's a spoon rest, and it's uh, like a melamine plastic one I don't use the spoon rest so all right this is uh, another like this is for my travel to Istanbul um, this is a Turkish um, now this art of mixed metal they actually use three or four it was described to me that was from a bazaar and it's actually it's a kind of I have a couple of these vases and I have one that in my collection it's almost 11 and a half inches now they use different metals and then they engrave it that's called champlave and they bring out the un underlying metals the copper the brass and the um, you know sometimes they have uh, other mixed metals there but it's beautiful the colors are so beautiful and this is such an, a unique technique and the ottomans they perfected this technique they have these on so many like they have va vases they have the pots they have like um uh, I have seen like urns, beautiful urns. I mean, I couldn't get them because of the shipping. Uh, but, you know, they had such unique pieces. I mean, the bazaar was filled with these uh, um, these art pieces and I love it. It's such a unique technique. All right. Uh, the other souvenir, this I found in a uh, boutique in Paris. I don't know if this is any value. I don't know how old these are, but this is a cologne and uh, it smells like the old uh, florals, you know. So it's still, I mean, it's still com completely full and the smell is like floral. I mean, it's too it's floral for, for any of us and especially colognes. I mean, my husband doesn't wear such colognes. So it's number 4711, uh, original UD cologne. Uh, I don't know what, locking gas. Uh, uh, oh gosh, I don't want to butcher that French, but that's a bottle. I think the bottle itself is cute enough to display on a vanity. All right, the other stuff. Oh, they, this is some stuff, extra stuff in the lot. This came in a baggie of like, these are like beaded fruits. Uh, I usually don't decorate my, my home with them, but these are nice. These are nicely done. These are like beaded fruits. I like lemons. I, I love lemons during like spring and on my table. 
um, but the strawberries and and these rattan baskets these are beautiful one two three four five I got found a five set uh, but these are nice to display your you know anywhere or storage uh, nice size like a boat shape and really nice for trinket holding them you know you can put a, anything in that and baskets are again a favorite of mine I love baskets collecting or storing in baskets all right so let me clean this up and then i'll come back with the next video uh don't forget to subscribe like comment share all the good stuff with this video so um it grows you know and you you see lots of nice items and i would love to share with you all right see you next time bye